Hi, I'm Gary. I'm Lisa. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Hey, we're back. We're together. We're talking about the market, and the market is extremely, how would you describe it, Lisa? Well, it's been unusual. <laughs> yes. It's been, an, it's been an unusual year, but uh, it is, inventory started out this year tight, just got tighter, and demand is going up, at least for properties in our area, because we're out of the really high populated, dense areas like LA and Bay Area. We've had a lot of buyers calling that can now work at home. Um, they're not tied to the schools because their kids are being schooled from home. So there's a lot, a whole new batch of demand to live in beautiful Ventura County. Yeah, that's the way we see it. I would think the majority of our buyers are coming from LA County. Uh -huh. I talked to um, one of our top escrow officers here in our area yesterday and she said that every single one of her buyer files right now is from L uh, LA County, every single one. And LA County is under a lot stricter lockdown than Ventura County, not that we're not locked down. It was just uh, a week ago today that they finally opened up the hair salons and nail salons. Right? No, not nail salons. No, not just hair salons. Okay, uh -huh. just the hair salons. And it has just been extremely, gyms are still closed, extremely difficult to operate. We're definitely not open at full speed. Not even close. So. But we are open, and we're open more than Santa Barbara County is, and we're open more than LA County, and we're sandwiched right in between them. Yeah, we were down at the beach um, earlier today, walking at the beach, and uh, there were so many people, because usually the beaches here in Ventura County, or in Ventura, um, they're really not that full, the beaches, but only really on holidays, maybe 4th of July or Labor Day, um, but this whole weekend, oh my goodness, the beaches have been just crazy. And the traffic, because to get anywhere north of here from L.A., if you're going further north, Pismo Beach or Solvang or um, San Luis Obispo, you go through here, Ventura, on the 101, and the traffic has been crazy going Thursday, Friday north, and then coming, of course, back south uh, on a busy holiday weekend. I would think it's pretty packed today. However, we are getting through this. We're open more than the counties on either side of us. We are doing business and the real estate business is, as Lisa said, it has been a little bit erratic, crazy, but it keeps pushing forward, it keeps chugging along. There are, when the property comes on the market that is nice and clean, good condition, move in ready. Um, we've heard of you know things getting 22 offers, 16 offers. So that's the kind of demand and the kind of buyers that are in the marketplace. Um, it's just been kind of nuts. So it is an excellent time to be a seller. Um, if you're thinking about selling or moving, uh, downsizing, upsizing, uh, it is a great, great time to be a seller because boy, you get the house clean and priced right and it is gonna sell immediately. So if you're a seller in this market today, you better be ready to move. <laughs> yes, well, and the flip side of that coin is, it's an excellent time to be a buyer. That's I mean, you're right. looking at very low interest rates, even though there's limited inventory. When you hire Lisa and I, I mean, we are kind of, you know, what I want to say is, I don't know, I want to say sharpshooter or we're the arrow and you're the bow. So we can get in there and find you exactly what you're looking for. Now, it may not be on the market now, it may be an off-market deal. It may be a deal that's coming on the market. I think the hot term these days is coming soon. Mm -hmm. But if you do the coming soon right, you're pre-approved, you know what you want, we can make it much easier. So once you tell us, we'll tell the market, the market speaks back through us to you, and we can get this done. All right, well, interest rates just hit the average under 3% for the first time ever, um, the average buyer's interest rate. So everyone's been really busy on that side of the coin uh, with refinances. Uh, but the purchase money too is just at an all time low. So even if uh, some people think uh, prices are gonna go down, um, we don't see that in our market because we are coastal California in one of the most affordable and nice beach communities that's left. Um, so we don't really see that or foresee that coming. Um, but let's say you, know, you think the prices might go down 
a little bit uh, after the election or after the new year. But if interest rates go up, your payment's going to be more. So most people buy a house, they buy a car based on the payment, not the price. And so what people don't understand is that even if prices retract a bit, which we don't see happening, but if they do and interest rates go up, you're going to end up paying more for your house payment anyway. So it is an excellent time right now, even if you think the market's on fire and the prices are high, um, the interest rates are low. And so they counterbalance that um, even more than prices retracting. Yeah, that's right. So in a nutshell, what well, Lisa's saying, if you're waiting on prices to go come down, the, probably the way the prices are going to go come down is if the interest rates go up. And if the interest rates go up, it's going to be very difficult for the prices to come down enough to verify or to offset the increase in interest rate. It's going to be a pretty huge swing. Right. That's, not what, that's not what happened right now. When we're talking less than 3%, we're talking less than 3% on a 30-year fixed note. And that's incredible. It's just incredible. Um, and I was looking at the interest rates on the chart where I was getting the stats from 20 years ago, the interest rates were 8%. And then 10 years ago, they were 5%. Two years ago, they were 5%. So, you know, it's, that's a lot. It's a big difference from 5% to 3% or under. I mean, we've heard of people getting 2.625 on a 30-year fixed. It's just incredible. Um, but that's a big difference than even just to 5%. Oh, yeah. I mean, Huge. if we go from 2.62 to 5%. It's almost double. Yes. The major, major. Now, it's not like your payment's going to double, but it's going to go up significantly. It's a lot. That's a lot. It it's goes up. Yes. Almost 100 increase on the interest rate. So we don't have a crystal ball. Uh, boy, wish we did. But that's what's happening right yeah. now. Yes, but we do know what's happening right now. We're out there in the field every single day, and we have a rear view mirror on our car. So we have the statistics as usual on what's going on in the last. What do you have? Last year? It's August. No, this is uh, uh, the August statistics. So it is, you know, the first of September, the first week of <laughs> September here. So our statistics show here for <laughs> August. And I just pulled a couple of the cities that are nearby for, for examples and really just to see. And you can see I booked Ventura, Oxnard, and Camarillo. The average sales price in Ventura from August of 19 to August of 2020 is up 13.9% um, at an average of 701 691 days on market 52 days on market versus 71 a year ago okay wait a minute. so that's just the slice it's just august of yep. 2020 yep. and august of 2019 yep it's not a rolling accumulation of numbers no okay um and then oxnard up 13.3 percent average sales price to 845,000. a year ago it was 746,000. so almost a hundred thousand dollar increase on the average sales price um, average days on market 40 a year ago 45 and then camarillo oxnard the largest city in ventura county um uh, the prices increased 13.4 percent year over year the average sales price 745 480 um to six six hundred and fifty seven thousand a year ago again almost about a hundred thousand dollar increase um, and again days on market went down because the demand is is significant and the, probably the reason the Oxnard number is so high at 845, Oxnard's not only the largest city in Ventura County, it is also has a beautiful beach down there. In my opinion, rivals Santa Monica Beach. It's like some of the homes, you've got 100 yards of sand, deep sand, before you get to the ocean. And it's a shore break, so it's deep right off there, so not a lot of surfers go there. Uh, there's no public restrooms there. Not a lot of people go there. So when you live on the beach in Oxnard, it's almost like you're living in Santa Monica, that style beach, and you have the beach all to yourself. It's just really a terrific place. I know. Rarely are there people on the beach along there at Oxnard Beach. Uh, and then Ventura County, these are just some Ventura County statistics here. The average sales price, 905000 for Ventura County overall. That's up again, 13%. And then the active li listings down 16.7%, which you see why inventory is so tight. And the average days on market is 34. Um, and I would say that that really coincides with, you know, most loans take about 30 days to get done. 
So I would say get, get, getting the average days on market under 30 days would be really fast, especially in this, mar this market because appraisers and loan officers and underwriters and escrow, everyone is just slammed right now doing refis. So there's really no way to rush the process at, at this moment. Right, so if you take the slice of pie and, and we talk below the grade, right? And above the grade, above the grade starts at what? Dewberry Park mm -hmm. and below the grade starts at Camarillo. So we're talking below the grade here. It's basically you've made or haven't realized unless you sold 13% on your money. Un unbelievable right. rate. Unbelievable. So that's why it's such a great time to be a seller um, if you were thinking about it and you don't think there's activity in the market, it's crazy. So what we're telling our sellers is house needs to be clean, show ready, and you need to be ready to move. <laughs> yes, yes, start packing. <laughs> right, because it's just that kind of a market right now, which is excellent. And then I did a little um, check on absorption rate. Now, the absorption rate. Now, we haven't gone over that before, have we? I know. So we're going to talk about absorption rate now. So absorption rate is the rate in which properties are um, absorbed or sold in a marketplace in a specific amount of time in a specific, specific market. That's absorption rate. So how they calculate that um, is over 20% is a seller's mar market and less than 15% is considered a buyer's mar uh, market. And I just ran some numbers here by the, si by the cities that we just did here. So Ventura County absorption rate, 35%, Oxnard, 22.67%, and Camarillo, 33.24%. So all three si uh, cities that I'm using in our example today are in a seller's market. So it is a great time to uh, put your house on the market if you're thinking about it, um, to get top dollar uh, very quickly. Now's the time because your buyers have record low interest rates uh, and then you could cash out and go buy so, uh, something else and take advantage of the low interest rates. Because again, your payment will be less at these rates than it will be down the line somewhere with higher interest rates. Yeah, and I think if it's a seller's market, anything above 20% and we're at 35, 23, 33, we're definitely in a seller's market. Mm -hmm. Once again, the other side of that coin says if interest rates are below 3%, it's a buyer's market too. It's just pretty slim pickings out there. Right, right. So it's, it's the market is busy. We have been very, busy really since June because they shut us down uh, really the end of March, April, May, but June, oh my gosh, it you know came back uh, quickly in June. So June, July and August for us have been busy in real estate um, and then heading into the fourth quarter. It's not only just fourth quarter, but it's election year. So fasten your seatbelt. There's a lot going on. <laughs> a lot you know? going on. Yes, because basically the end of the first quarter, middle of March, uh, we were non-essential and then it, gosh, it kept spilling over, spilling over. Mm -hmm. At one point the gym was open for a couple of weeks and then it closed because the spike in cases. It's just been a wild ride so far, so we don't expect things to get any different in the near future. Yeah, so if you're thinking about buying or selling or investing in real estate, you wanna talk to us if you have any it, uh, issues or questions with forbearance. If you've been laid off or you have things you need to talk about, please call us sooner rather than later and let's have a conversation. Of course, confidential conversation. We're happy to talk about real estate uh, anytime. That's correct. Now we're not your pastor and we're not your attorney. However, we will keep it confidential. There's no question about that. <laughs> and well, thanks for watching. I mean, my gosh, we want you to subscribe, like, and hit the, the notification bell because we're getting very close to a thousand. We need you to do that. We need you to tell your friends. We want to put it over. We want to go live on YouTube. So please subscribe. Oh my gosh, we love everybody that watches. So visit us at GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. <laughs>